Okay, this is a re requested tutorial on how to do the um, fading animation. And I'm just going to use this picture for this tutorial because I kind of drew it and I'm very proud of it. And you can see my role playing character and it's so all gloaty and la la la. Okay, enough gloating. Um, on to the actual tutorial. Hope you kick out of my little intro. Anyways, um, I have the animation frames thing up. If you don't have that up and you have a newer version of Photoshop, just go to Window Animation. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you're going to have to use Image Ready. If you do not have Adobe Image Ready and you do not have a newer version of Photoshop or you do not have Photoshop at all, all you have to do is do, do, do these same steps and just save every layer frame as its own individual picture. I would suggest using a .png to, even though it's a bigger file size, it'll also have a better outcome when uploaded to a site like Lunapic to make it into an animation. I would suggest Lunapic because I've used it before when I was having trouble with my Photoshop animation thing. Um, before I completely understood it. It's taken me a while. Anyways. Um, Lunapic is really good because it lets you have, you know, mess with the timing and the arrangements and such. It can be a little slow of a site, but I think it's pretty good. If you're having trouble with Lunapic, you don't like it for some reason, try um, just Googling uh, somehow another way to animate it. I'm sorry, I haven't really found one that I like yet. So uh, if I find one, I'll put it in the underbar that it is now, apparently. Okay, anyways, on to the actual tutorial part. Um, I have one layer and it's called frame one just because it's the first frame in here. This is going to be your start picture. Now your end picture can be anything you want. I mean, you can start off with, you know, a picture of your face and have it like turn to your dog's butt. It's all the same. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to make a new copy that layer and then just image adjustments, hue saturation, and change the colors of oh, this one. So, yeah. Blue skinned kitty man. It looks like a man kitty. Anyways, okay, so I have frame one and frame two basically is what it's going to turn out to be. Now, if you have Photoshop um, or image ready, you can go over here to make frames from layers. And there's a little thing with like four little boxes or circles, depending on how you look at it. It says tween frames and you click it and you can tween it with next frame or last frame or the selection. I just um, tween it with the next frame. If you want it to go from like the purple kitty, in my case, you know, um, the purple kitty to the like blue green kitty. And then back to the purple kitty, you'll want... Um, seamlessly, you'll, ha you'll want to have three layers. The purple, the green, then the purple again. And then you'll want to tween it with the last frame. But for this, to make it easy, I'm just doing two, which you'd want to tween with the next frame. Now I'm just going to add three frames because I think that's pretty good. Um, when I play it, it's pretty smooth. Except for the fact that when you do this, you have the background opacity problem. Now to fix this, go over here and say flatten frames into layers. Now you can get rid of the first two layers you made because they're kind of irrelevant now because they just copied them again. And you have all these, okay. And they look decent if you have the original background on them. So you're going to copy frame one, all right, and you're going to um, merge frame two onto frame one copy. So that frame two, or now it's labeled as frame one copy, has a full opacity. Now if you do not have Photoshop and you do not have the tween function, all you have to do is make a copy of frame five for how many, however many frames you want. So in this case it would be three. Then just lower the opacity over here to 25% for frame two. 50% for frame 3 and 75% for frame 4. If you're going to use more frames, you're just going to have to divide it by how many frames you're going to have. Um, other than that, this is basically what tweening does. It's just a little bit faster way of doing it. And either way, you're going to have to f 
um, merge each and every middle frame onto the first frame you have. All right, merge down. Okay, so each frame is now full opacity. You cannot see the background through it at all. Now I'm just going to click and then shift click and I'm going to click the little trash bucket and I'm going to delete all the frames. But we still have the layers, okay? Go over here to make frames from layers. Now I'm going to shift click again and change the timing of these. And I'm looping it forever. Just push the little play button. You can see how it, it's pretty smooth. Except for frame um, 5 going into frame 1, which is kind of rough. If you want it to be completely smooth, just copy um, frame 4. And put frame, and then put that after frame um, 5. And then copy frame 3, and then put that, and basically you're just reversing what you just did. Oh my goodness, why isn't it working? It's not dragging properly. There we go. Okay. And one more time. So you only have, oh come on, work for me. There we go. You only have one copy of the original and then you have one copy of the completely altered and then you're going to have three frames of the transition between those two and then three frames afterwards and what this is going to do is it's going to make it completely smooth it's going to keep running and running and running like that so that is how you do that and if you're um don't have Photoshop, all you need to do is save all these as um, eight. For me, it would be eight individual pictures and just upload those eight individual pictures into lunapic.com and just arrange them according to the timeline. And then you just save it. And that is how you do the fading animation. I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.